Welcome to Two Dudes, One Movie Podcast, the podcast where two dudes dive into cinematic masterpieces from a different decade each week. Each week, we will cover a different movie from black and white classics to modern day blockbusters. And every season, we will be focusing on one genre, exploring how that genre grows and evolves through the decades. We'll cover all types of movies, classics, cult classics, box office nightmares, and who knows, there might even be an episode of your own all-time favorite movie. I'm co-host Parker, an aspiring writer and director working day-to-day on some of the today's biggest film sets. I know firsthand what it's like to be behind the scenes of films and all the moving parts it takes to bring an idea to the big screen. I'm co-host Rick, just a casual watcher of movies and a fan of film. I can be a tough audience, but that's because I don't just want another reboot. I want to see something original and exciting and nothing made by Marvel. Make sure to follow our socials at Two Dudes One Movie Podcast so that you can watch along with us at home. That way you can fully enjoy our episodes, which will be heavy with spoilers. This season, we're falling into the genre of romantic comedies. Here's a sneak peek into episode one coming next week. So, Rick, I know that there was a lot of drama that took place on this film set. And I know you did a little research into that. So I thought it'd be fun if you shared some of that tea with our listeners. What happened on the set of Sabrina? Yes, Parker, I quickly found out that even in the 50s, Hollywood gossip was alive and well. So I was diving deep. Not really. It was like one blog post. Anyways, here's the quick rundown. Uh, I'm doing this off of memory of the post that I read once. I think I just, just told you once. Frank, that's that's as credible of a source as you can bit, as you can get. Also, like when you're spilling tea, you know, like you're you're with your bros and you're like, hey, I need to spill tea, which happens. You're like you're not reading it anywhere. You're just yeah, it's true. You're just spilling. You're vibing, it. Park. You're spilling it. Yeah. Yeah. So here's the rundown. So Humphrey Bogard was the backup option. Um, I don't know who the first option was. It definitely said it. I didn't care to see who it was, though. Humphrey Bogart kind of was, like, butthurt that he was the, the backup option. And then he, like, was trying to make the director to make his wife Sabrina. And then the director practically wrote this role for Audrey Hepburn. So he was like, no, that's a dumb idea. And then Bogart was pretty much as fed up with Sabrina because he kept saying... I think he literally said in an interview, they, like, asked him if Audrey Hepburn was a good actress... And he said, after we go through the line seven times, she is. Just so, like, just so <laughs> sarcastic and just bashing her. Um, and some of that also could have been fueled in, like, the annoyance. So Audrey Hepburn and William Holden, who played David, had a little romance, Park. A, a real-life romance. Real-life real life romance. 11-year age gap, real-life romance. But, you know, 11 years, I guess, is not that crazy. But they were having the romance during, the, during everything. And then uh, William was like, hey... I'm going to leave my wife and kid for you. Which is like, wow. I don't know why we just, there should be a movie about that. It's That's some real tea right there. I know. Which I, Audrey was kind of, I think, ready to do was what I kind of picked up from this little snippet in an old magazine. And then she realized that William got his old tubes tied to park and Audrey wanted kids. So mm. that was a deal breaker. And then the, the, I guess that's, that broke it off. It's crazy to think if his tubes were not tied, Rick that he would be potentially with Audrey Hepburn. Uh, that's crazy. 